forward and you're gonna power out on this to way. part three of how to correct some incredibly stupid self-defense techniques that would otherwise get you hurt because they give your opponent more control over the situation than they give you notice how this girl is putting her hands over the top breaking her own posture lowering her head and putting herself in a position where her knee can't actually reach her opponent which is intended goal now look at how she's putting her hands over the top right here don't do that this is actually compounding the pressure. Notice how she's bringing her head closer to him, giving him more control, lowering her posture downward. Okay, She's actually putting more space against him. Look at his arms. He's got a tight frame against her shoulders there. The choke is not the real danger. It's the control. It's the framing that his skeleton has over hers. Look at what happened when I repeated this process with Nils. If he extends his arm a little bit, which is basically instinct, there's no way my knees can reach him. Now, when we reverse positions right here, his knees barely reach me, but mine will easily, easily reach and penetrate into his solar plexus. All right, this next one I had uh, three main problems with the, uh, the choke defense thing. First of all, uh, Nils, grab, grab me in a choke right here. Now, if my opponent does this, and I put my hands over the top, I'm making this situation worse. I am compounding the pressure on my neck. Anytime somebody clinches with you, whether it's the neck, whether it's collar ties, whether it's an underhook, whether he's experienced or inexperienced, I want to pummel to the center. I want my hands on the inside. So here, come on over here, cut down a little bit. So hands on my neck, please, right? Even if it's something as simple as grab his neck, now my hands are on the inside, now that relie relieves the pressure. Here, grab a tight collar tie on. On this side, right? Collar tie, he's got control of my head, control of my posture. He could yank my head down here, move me around a little bit. Right? So he's got control there. But if I swim my hand to the inside, now oh, who's got control? I do. So let's back up here. So no matter what type of clinch it is, hands to the inside, right? And maybe he's really strong. Maybe he's twice my size, three times my strength. And I don't have the strength to lift his arms. I don't have the strength to move in. Guess what? still got the strength to move myself if I can brace on the inside okay now the second major issue I have is, is those knees what she does in the video is bows her head down and imagine maybe he wants to throw a knee at me he's in a much better position to, to reach me with his knees here than I am if he simply braces against my neck and I start bringing these up there's no power no control over that and if he pushes I have no balance. My center of gravity is behind me at that point. I will fall if he pushes. Okay? So I need to pummel for the inside. If I want to throw a knee now, now I'm in a position to do that. Okay? So always hands to the inside every time you clinch. No exceptions. Okay?